Here we have uh, how I'm making out on the garage remodel. And as you can see, I've taken down some drywall. Just started last night a little bit. Didn't get much done, but uh, it's coming through. It's funny, that 220 line that you see there was actually <laughs> hanging that way uh, even with the drywall up. So whatever, it's insulated, you know. Uh, anyway, that's part of the reason why I'm doing it. Interesting uh, story. I was pulling off this box last night. Just wanted to get off the wall so I could take down the stucco and drywall that was behind it. it. Used to have an outlet in it. As you can see, it it doesn't now. And took it off. Uh, was like, wow, there's a lot of wires in it. Pressed everything back into it. Tried to seal it up and went to went to turn on the uh, breaker for that, which is. Uh, Actually, fire this, follow this line. Obviously, it goes to the breaker box, but actually, it is. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. This guy, the uh, 220 breaker, which is kind of surprising. But whatever, didn't think anything of it. Really wasn't paying attention. Put everything back in it and uh, turn that back on. It sparked real bad, and I think I blew out my GFI outlet I don't know what happened to it but um turned it off immediately went and looked at it and actually there's took off the panel and everything that's hooked up a red and black to each line coming out of the breaker and then what would normally be a 220 uh stops here and the red goes to the hot of one wire and the white from the 220 line uh, goes to the hot of a uh, no goes to the goes to the uh, all the all the neutrals and then the uh, the the black wire goes to the hot of another wire. So the red and black wires go to individual hots of two different wires, and then these wires share the the white. So. <sighs> And there's no ground, so uh, I don't know how that really works out, but that's that's odd. And it's kind of even more odd because these two wires only operate three lights, you know. Two in the bathroom and this in the laundry room, so I really don't know why that's going on. My question is, or what I think I can just do is obviously replace this whole wire, because I don't. this is ugly. Run it through the wall and just run a single 20 amp... 110 breaker for that one wire and just send it you keep this box here or whatever clean it up and just splice it to both wires i just don't i don't know why they left this this 220 line in and the 220 breaker setup which is physically connected most bizarre thing i've seen i mean it's not even a it's not used but anyway things you find out or look at when you uh Rip down some walls. <laughs> anyway, until next time.